Hey, 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 I'm Al Cavadlo, and you're watching Ask Al. Today's first question comes from a YouTube user who calls himself Mr. The Stop Motion Man, who says, Hey, 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 Al, I have a question regarding planche. Gymnasts take years to learn it, but if you see popular street workout videos, it seems like everybody in Europe is doing them no problem. What's the deal? Hey, 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 my friend. It's easy to watch YouTube and think that everybody can do these moves, but you've got to keep in mind these are the best of the best and you're seeing them at their best. So not everyone can do a planche, but it seems like just about everyone who can do one has uploaded the video to YouTube. Don't be fooled though, the planche is an extremely advanced exercise that takes years of patience and dedication to achieve. Nobody fast tracks their way to that move without putting in the time and effort. Next question comes from Saeed who says, Hi Al, can you please explain the muscles worked in parallel dip versus straight bar dip? Thank you. Hey, hey, hey Saeed, both versions of the dip emphasize the triceps, chest, and shoulders. However, the straight bar dip puts a little bit more emphasis on the chest while the parallel version is just a little bit more on the triceps. So they're really not that dramatically different. However, it's worth pointing out, the straight bar dip is an excellent lead up step for the muscle up. And that is probably the biggest value in it over the parallel version. Next question comes from Yazan AF who says, Hey Al, how are you doing? I have a question. If I have rounded forward shoulders and I can do only five consecutive pull-ups and at least 15 consecutive push-ups, should I stop doing push exercises until I'm equally strong in the pull exercises? Hey, 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 Yazan. This is a good question, and I often emphasize the importance of maintaining balance between opposing muscle groups. However, the push-up and pull-up are not exactly equal. The push-up's a much less difficult exercise. So I would actually say that five pull-ups and 15 push-ups is a pretty good balance, because a pull-up is probably about three times more difficult than a push-up. As far as your rounded shoulders go, most people, myself included, spend way too much time sitting. And that can sometimes lead us into this slumped posture. So the best thing we can do is try to bring awareness to ourselves when we're standing, we're sitting, we're walking around, and start being mindful of our posture. Beyond that, the back bridge is an excellent exercise to stretch out the whole front of the body and potentially improve your posture. Last question for the day comes from Janzo Rodermund who says, Hey, 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 Al. I'm wondering what your thoughts on Hindu squats are. I was reading your book, Pushing the Limits, and in that you mentioned that lifting your heels is a big no-no in squats. Although in Hindu squats, they do lift the heels. Hey, 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 my friend. I always emphasize keeping the heels down on a squat because it allows you to fully engage your glutes and hamstrings. When you go up on your toes in the case of the Hindu squat, you take the posterior chain out of the equation and put all the emphasis on the quads. Additionally, going up on your toes like that can be stressful on the knee joints. However, once you've built a good foundation of strength with basic squats and split squats and lunges, Practicing Hindu squats can be a really great addition to your training. It's one of those examples of you kind of have to know the rules before you start breaking them. So Hindu squats are great, but I would make sure you know how to do a traditional squat first and you've gotten really solid on those before you work on the Hindu squat. Well, that's all the time I've got for this episode of Ask Al. Keep leaving me questions and comments below for next time and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future episodes. Till then, I'm Al Cavadlo, and we're working out.